Welcome to the LSU Housing Portal. This is where you will submit your housing contract. You'll search for roommates, join roommate groups if you have preferred roommates you'd like to live with, and then actually select your LSU home on campus. So let's get back to your application. Let's see, I've started mine already, so I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. And it brings me to where I left off, the roommate section. So here's my roommate group. So you can see that Catherine is the group leader and she wants to live with Gloria and Aubrey. So we'll hit save and continue to go on to the next step. This is just reminding you some important information about roommates and click save and continue to the next step, which is room selection. On the left hand side, there are the buildings, the residence halls that show up. So if you're in a residential college, let's say the business residential college in West Hall, when you come into the portal, you'll see all the rooms that are available in West Hall because you're an approved member of the business residential college. If you are a traditional student, that's meaning you prefer to live in a traditional residence hall, one of those buildings open to all majors, when you come in, you'll be able to click through the various halls that are open for traditional housing to see what is available. So this is why we say it's important to have kind of a mental list together before you go into room selection. Um, so you know, okay, I'm gonna look for Annie Boyd first, then I'm gonna look for Azalea, um, and then I'm gonna look for Miller. Let's go ahead and look at um, West Hall 407 and West Hall 409. Now I know that I have three people in my roommate group and so I want to make sure that we're in a suite together. So that's where a two student room and a two student room next door share that bath in the middle. I know that this is the right suite because it says right here West 407 slash 409 are that shared suite. So here I would know that 410 and 412 share that suite. You can also go to the ResLife website and look at all the halls and see floor plans if you wanna double check where those room locations are. So this is an example of Broussard and you can see all the room numbers. So that's a good thing to do beforehand just to make sure you know um, where you're interested in living. So on this page, you'll also see what's available inside of those suites. So West 407 is a two student room. So that means this number two, there are two beds in there. So two students live in 407. Um, it is a suite with 407 and 409. And so this information is important down here that I just highlighted. Space is available in suite four. So that means all four beds in those two rooms are currently available to select. In the room that I'm looking at, 407, there are two beds available. So right now this entire suite is available. However, as we go into the process, you'll notice that these numbers will change. There may only be one space available um, in the suite and that one space is in this room or maybe it's in this room. So if you have roommates that you wanna live with and suite mates you wanna live with, you need to make sure that there are enough available spaces in the suite and or the room so that you can place everyone in there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna live in 407 and 409. So I'm going to select it and you see it popped into my cart. I'm gonna select this one too, because remember there are three people in my roommate group. So I need to make sure that I have three beds to place this in. I'm gonna scroll down and click save and continue. And this is where we assign the beds. So first you see it's Catherine. And so you can see the available beds show up. And I wanna be in 407, so I'm gonna select that. And here are the roommates that are in my roommate groups. Again, the only people that I'll show here are the people in your roommate group, okay? So there's Aubrey and Gloria, and I want Gloria to be my roommate, so I'm gonna put her in the other bed in 407. And then I know that I want Aubrey to be in the suite next to us. So I'm gonna put her in 409. So now if you look, when this one is taken, that means that there's only one bed left in our suite. And whoever else selects that bed would be our fourth suite mate. So let me double check, I did everything. Let's see, I'm 407, Gloria's 407, 
Aubrey's 409. I know that's a suite. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and assign these beds to us. Okay, I can double check. So good, I'm almost done. Okay, let me carefully check. This is important because once we hit save and continue, this is your room assignment and you won't be able to change it by yourself. You'll have to contact our room assignments team at housing at lsu.edu to make a change. So you'll note here, if you need to make a change at this point, click on room selection from the progress bar. Don't use your browser's back button, okay? So let's say that, oh wait, I just talked to Gloria and we actually, we don't wanna be in photo 7409. So I'm not gonna click save and continue. I'm gonna go back to room selection and let's see, how much time do I have? Okay, I have seven, about eight more minutes. So you have 10 minutes once you put something in your cart to secure it. But I decided that I don't wanna be in 407, 409. So I'm gonna remove those from my cart. 457 is available, has two beds, has two spaces in the room and the whole suite's available. Okay, good. Now 457 and 459 are a suite. So I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna get the room next to it. Oh wait, no, this is not the same suite, right? So make sure you look at those room numbers because just because they're next to each other doesn't mean that it's a suite. This is 457, 459. So I need to go over here to 459 and select. Save and continue. Okay, now we're in the right bed. So I'm gonna go in 457. I'm gonna put Gloria as my roommate, and then I'm gonna put Aubrey as my suite mate. Okay, let me double check, make sure everything's okay. 457, 459, okay, so I'm in the right, we're all in the same suite. I have the right roommate. Click save and continue. Way to go, housing complete. Okay. So at this point, again, you can't go back and change your room selection. You won't be able to add anything to your cart, you see? So you can go to your My Details page and you'll see that now my room number shows up and here are my uh, roommates and suite mates. So if you have any questions or if you need to change anything, you can email us at housing at lsu.edu. Once you complete this process, you're finished. And so are Gloria and Aubrey. They may have later time slots than you, but since you've already placed them in their room, um, they don't need to do anything else. I hope this was helpful. Let us know if you need anything. Go Tigers.